Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Columbia, South Carolina with this douchebag of a frauder but who goes by the channel name First Amendment Protection Agency. And this arrogant little douche canoe attempts to audit yet another post office and winds up in a shiny new pair of bracelets once again. I mean, how many times has this gutter mouth pile of trash been arrested in the past month alone? I mean, he must be some setting some sort of uh, frauditor record. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So we're gonna take a trip around from the back angle. Oh, by the way, this video is 40 minutes long, so we're not going to sit around watching every minute of it because, well, there's a lot of dead air in it, of course. So let's just go ahead and fast forward through the junk and watch the meat and potatoes as this guy attempts to, well, throw his weight around and end up being uh, put away for a while. Fast much too early. Prepare to fast forward. Preparing to fast forward. Fast forward. Fast forwarding, sir. Yeah, buy your one stamp, but act like a complete jackass. Oh, by the way, I've noticed one other thing about an incident that occurred in one of your other videos where uh, a chief of police arrests you and then you say something about him resigning afterwards, but you don't uh, credit any other source other than yourself as to the reason why it happens. And other frauditors have taken up that uh, banner along with you saying that you were responsible for him resigning. Well, no, uh, that's another lie that frauditors like to tell. I mean, there's several easily accessible news articles about Chief Middleton as to why he resigned. And it had nothing to do with your sorry ass. It had something to do with him being the, at the center of attention of a domestic abuse scandal, you dumbass. So before you start taking credit for somebody resigning, you might want to check your sources because it's not all about you. How you doing? I just want to know how much for one stamp. I'm sorry? I, why? Because I don't want you videoing well, You're on video all day. Yeah, but not by you. Right, I just came in. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I prefer you not to video me. Well, most definitely allowed to do so. Oh, come on now, frauditor. Have you actually read Poster 7? Or have you just been spouting off what other frauditors have been saying? Because if you actually read the clause that talks about it, you would understand that you need permission from the local postmaster or the installation head to do so. But seeing as hell you are probably most likely illiterate or first grade at the very most, you might just not be able to comprehend the uh, poster anyway. So yeah, why don't you go talk to somebody who knows about it, actually knows about it, like the people who are actually in charge of the post office and not some dumbass frauditor. I'm in front of the counter, <laughs> not behind the counter. I'm 
Not sure if you guys can see that, but I'm not buying the counter. I'm not sure if you guys saw her back there, but okay. Okay, she's not coming back. I just need a cent. I just wanted to know how much. Yeah, I just wanted to know how much it was. 66 cents? Yeah. Cash. Thank you very much. And what was your name, by the way? Shantae. Shantae. Here you go. Thank you very much. What's your name? Uh, Johnny. You a blogger? I'm sorry? You a blogger? What do you mean? Uh, do you blog? Because I might want to follow you on YouTube because no. I might want to see this. Oh, okay. It's not really a blog. Right. Not really that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I get a receipt as well? Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. You said Johnny? Yes. Right. If you go to Flex Springs, all right, Johnny. Sorry about that waiting line. You have a great day. That's all right. Take care. Thank you. You as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, you sense sarcasm in her voice? Well, I sure as hell don't. I mean, she seems very polite and everything like that. Uh, but, of course, you're just looking for any excuse for confrontation for your videos. So, you have to make up something that seems confrontational when she wasn't confrontational to you in the slightest. So, now that you've gotten your stamp, why don't you make like a tree and leave? Because you have no further business in here besides to antagonize everybody else. But will he do it? Yeah. Survey says no. Five minutes later. This is just because I can't keep my mouth shut, but I just, I do understand we live in a world of like, well, I, I have an opinion I think we're going to, and I'm a victim of it, over technical use everywhere and stuff, but, and the whole idea of what is public versus private, what's privacy, okay. and the individual need versus the group, right? and what is liberal, lib, li, li, not liberal, what's liberty, what are rights, Mm -hmm. You know, first, you know, those things are privileges. But like what? What do you mean? No, I said that I'm saying that this whole constitutes a whole thing of themes. Okay. Okay. So the themes of like, well, what is like when I would ask you the question is like, you know, what what are my rights? Mm -hmm. Like, if you're gonna film, like you took a picture, say you yep. took a picture, is my right, my name, image, likeness, who I am? You know, is is that something that? that I have the right to consent to or not. You know, these are these are discussions, right? Yeah, no, I, so, I agree. Like, you know, and it, who knows? Let me give you the short version of the discussion. In yeah. private, you're absolutely right. In a public space, you have no expectation of privacy in public. Right. Well, okay. Uh, no, I can have an expectation, but it may not legally be something that's enforced. I do so now, let me, let me ask you a question. If right. you were If you were to come in here naked, and run past me naked. Would you be mad that everybody saw you naked? No, you're in a public space, right? No, um, yeah, I, I understand that. Well, then, so, so, so like it's we the same exact thing. And then we have even, there are rules for nuisances, okay? The idea of like, what is a public nuisance? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, when you stand in a place like, hey, in the post office, we've had a lot of like sad lanes inside a lot of shootings, a lot of things that happen and different things. So if a person, and that's where they even have loiter, loitering laws, mm -hmm. right? So if you stand here and you create something, then you're creating like a, you know, questions, right? You know, and that's your right. But it, re it reacts and creates different things. In the South too, there's another concept of just being rude, okay? So, you know, that, and you know, who knows? This could be a master's uh, PhD uh, analysis about how people react to this whole concept and that. Who knows? Because you, you know, you said I, I'd be finished and I'd be glad to tell you when I'm off of work. Mm -hmm. there it is. Sorry, uh, sir, but uh, you're thinking in terms that this frauder is not exactly familiar with. There is no master thesis here as far as how people react in different situations. This is just 
Well, him trying to get clicks and views on YouTube and seeing how much he can get arrested for the slim possibility of some massive jackpot when it comes to a payout. Yeah, that's the kind of thing he's looking for. He's not looking to really educate people. He's just looking for a massive payday. But let's go ahead and skip to when the uh, cops arrive because this video is very long to begin with. Many, many minutes later. And he's right here Sir, come my I'm sorry? Come over and talk to me. I'm good right here, man. I'm good to have a talk right here. We're good. You got some ID to identify yourself since you're claiming you have a right. What's your name and badge number? Sergeant Brinson, 22832, sir. Sweet. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to invoke my Fifth Are you Amendment now. Service? I'm going to invoke my Fifth Amendment now. Are you here for any services? You can't interfere with their work. You can film all you want to, but you can't interfere with their work. So you have to step away from the counter. Okay? You understand that? You step away from the counter. You can't interfere with their work. Is the supervisor around that I was supposed to talk to? Yes. I'm still waiting. I have like two minutes of questions and then I would have been out of here. So. No, the supervisor, sorry. I am a no, you're not. <laughs> Just who are you to determine who's a supervisor and who's not in a place of business? If they say they're a supervisor, then most likely, 99% of the time, they are a supervisor, you dumbass. And perhaps one of the only reasons why you would not accept them as a manager is if they didn't comply with your demands. Follow your directives. Believe what you wanted them to believe. So, yeah. But that doesn't work in the real world, dude. You are about to find that out the hard way. Fifteen minutes later. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. You're all good. Okay. So, um, What's up? I have no problem with you recording. Can you record all your day? Oh, thank you. Um, what, what I was told, I don't know if you can say yeah or nay. We were told that you're supposed to be recording a transaction between... The clerk and someone in passport. I have no interest in personal information. I've been sitting there. I right, I understand that. But see, I know you don't I have. I was waiting thing. for service. But if you're recording that, okay, look, everybody is within two feet of each other here. Right. I was sitting right there. And they were sitting right there. I'm sitting there, pointing, pointing my camera over here, waiting for a supervisor to talk to, and nobody came over. Okay. I was sitting there waiting, just like everybody right. else was. Uh, again, I have no problem with you recording. The, the, where, where the where the gray line becomes an issue. No, there is no gray line. Okay. I'm in the public area. I, Okay, but let There's me finish. There's zero gray line. Let me, yeah, let me finish. If you're recording personal information, yep. that can be an issue. Well, if, if the personal information being out here, that's definitely your problem. If you'd, like public, if you'd like privacy in public, you definitely should create it. Go in an office and do it. Oh, that sad, pathetic little argument right there, dude. That never really works. In fact, that gets you kicked out of the post office or any other place pretty damn fast. The people in charge of this building... Well, they are in charge of keep, keeping people's information private. And that means they can kick your sorry ass out of the building. But of course, you're a frauder, so you think you know everything. So let's carry on, shall we? No, that's not that's, my that, problem. That, no, I'm no, out here. Thing. Okay, nope. here's, I'm here's out here in the public area. Here, here's another All right, thing. Look, I'm not going to okay. sit here and explain uh, myself. Well, then today. you need to leave. I'm, I'm trespassing you right now. If you're not going to listen, what I, I'm trying to give you a, a, a legal obligation. Well, you can record, but if you're not interested in listening to that, then I can I can ask you to leave. Right you now. can ask me to do whatever you want. Okay. Are you going to write? Are you guys going to write yes. out a formal trespass? Yes. You want to get the formal trespass going? Yes. Go get the paper. Okay. Go ahead. Here's the thing. We'll start it. No, nope. there there is no thing. Okay. There is no thing. All right, sir. You need to leave. I'm, I'm trespassing yep. you right now. Perfect. Sounds good. I, as soon as I get the paper, I'll be out of here. No. Nope. It's I'm, a for, I'm, that's not a formal trespass. Have paper. That's not a formal you're trespass. Let's leave. Let's go. Let's go. You're outside now. You understand it. If you been leave, you can be Before if you, you speak another leave, word, you call, your, call your supervisor. We already have. I want to speak to your... You know, after all this, he still stands around there for another 20 minutes arguing with them on civil rights and everything like that. You know, the usual 
frauded or BS about being trespassed is a violation of civil rights and everything like that. So, yeah, I'm not going to subject any of you to that. So let's just go and skip to the end where he actually, well, takes it a little bit too far and still doesn't leave. Many unbearable hours later. Uh, Postal Inspector once again has asked you to leave. You're disrupting services and you're trying to fill private information as far as we can no, tell. No, I'm not. No, no, you okay. can't. But so you what, what made you tell that? Okay. You are what, disrupting hold on. services, hold on. correct? All right. No, I'm... Will you leave? This is your trespass notice. Okay, so now let me you, ask you You now you a have question. time to leave. Okay, sounds good. So if now not, let me ask you a question. Under risk. Now let me ask you a question. If I do not leave, are you going to place me under arrest? Yes. Under, okay, so under threat of arrest, I'm going to go. Can I, are you going to, are you going to get me a business card as well? I no, need sir. a business card. I gave no? you my name and badge number. All right, cool. Uh, can I get your name and badge number? Payroll 24744. I'm sorry? Corporal Mallor, payroll 24744. Okay, Did you, cool. Did you say Please understand, you cannot come back to this post office. So you guys are going to fill out that paper, correct? We did, but you, you refuse to give us your name. Yeah, sounds good. Right, okay. So, so write, then write it down as good citizen. Right, I identify as good citizen. Why are you raising your voice? Why don't you de-escalate a little bit? Why, why don't you de-escalate a little bit? Once again, leave. I'm trying to talk to you. And I'm telling you you've been trespassed. I need you to leave right now. So uh, I'm going to get that paper filled out, correct or incorrect? I need you to step outside. Once you give us our ID, we can finish filling that paperwork out. I don't have my ID. Okay, step outside. Step outside. Step outside. Why are you trying to force This is your last somebody. chance. All right, you're under arrest. Dude, I are, You're I, now under arrest. I, I told you I'm going. I'm now under arrest. I gave you enough. Sorry, dude. When you're under arrest, you don't generally have uh, any consent at that point. I mean, they got to inventory your vehicle. They got to know who the hell you are. And, uh, well, you got most of your property back, so all this crap is on your head. Don't act like a dumbass, and you won't be treated as such. Maybe next time you'll think about walking out of the building, and then maybe you won't have your car searched when you get arrested. I mean, they gotta know who the hell they're arresting so they can keep your sorry ass out of the building should you come back and be a nuisance once again. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?